seeing an overview uh, schematic of an advanced adapter engine scenario here. We have a JMS queue containing some messages, incoming adapter, dispatcher queue for prioritization, receiver determination before we enter the messaging system, and the adapter specific queue with its persistence, uh, relevant message mapping steps, an outbound adapter in the receiver system, together with the thread pool applicable to that particular adapter type. The orange lightning bolt is the adapter thread, and you will see how this processes messages in series. The yellow lightning bolts are general purpose JMS send adapter threads out of that pool. First, the, message, the thread connects to a JMS queue and uh, picks up one of those messages, runs them through any adapter modules, through the dispatcher queue into the receiver determination where it executes the receiver conditions. In this case, we assume we found two receivers. The thread will then duplicate the message and write both copies into the messaging system queue. Before it returns to the JMS queue, marks that message as confirmed and returns to the thread pool. It's now available to pick up any other messages that are on the JMS queue. But note there is only one of those threads per comm channel per Java server node on the system. Once persisted in the messaging system, a general purpose thread processes the message through any mapping steps through any adapters and their modules into receiver system. Upon success, it marks that message as successfully delivered and returns back to the book.